hello students today we are going to learn about the next topic in the chapter 4 that is permeability of soils and seepage analysis coming to the next topic it deals with the analytical solution which is representation by stream and potential function <music> are considering a function which is phi x and z such that do phi by do x is given as vx and it is nothing but minus k into dh by dx this is equation 1 similarly in the z direction do phi by do z nothing but the velocity in z direction is equal to minus x do do h by do z So, if we are differentiating the equation one with respect to x, we have do square phi by do x square plus do square phi by do z square is equal to zero, and we are also uh, equa uh, I mean differentiating equation two with respect to z and substituting in the Laplace equation. We have this final equation. So nothing but uh, do x z will satisfy the Lapla Laplace equation. So from the equation one and two, we have Phi of x comma z is nothing but minus k uh, x of h comma z in this direction plus there is a function f of z. This equation is taken as four. Similarly, phi of x comma z is equal to minus k into x comma z plus there is a function g of x. Okay, this is taken as equation five. Why this? Because x and z can also be varied independently. Like there, uh, we are considering a function of z and function of g is equal to some c constant. So phi of x comma z is equal to minus k h into x comma z plus one constant. Similarly, h of uh, x comma z that is nothing but one by k. If this uh, uh, and c minus phi of x comma z. If we are rearranging the Terms here from the equation six. So uh, h of x comma z is a constant which is equal to h one. Nothing but it is representing the equation seven as a curve in the x z plane. For this curve, we will be having the constant value phi one with respect to the h one. So this is an e equal potential line. So by assigning to a number of values such as phi one, phi two, and phi three, etc., we get a number of equal potential lines along. H is equal to H1, H2, H3 respectively. So this slope along an equipotential line can be derived directly by d phi is equal to d phi into do uh, phi by do x into d x plus do phi by do z into d z. If uh, phi is a constant along a curve, then d phi is equal to zero, and we have this equation: d z by d x with respect to phi is equal to minus do. Phi by do x by do phi by do z. We know that do phi by do x is nothing but v x. Do phi by do z is nothing but v z. Similarly, again we are taking phi of x comma y be a function such that do psi by do z is equal to v x. Now again that is equal to minus k into do h by do z. This is considering as ten equation. Similarly, in the x direction we are considering it as eleven equation. So we are combining one and ten. And we get do square psi by do z square is equal to do square psi by do x do z. Similarly, we will combine equation two and eleven. We have minus do square psi by do x into do z is equal to do square psi by do square phi by do x do z that is equal to do square psi by do x square. Again, from the twelve and thirteen, we have this. Equation that is, if we add twelve and thirteen and simplify, we have do square psi by do x square plus do square psi by do z square. That is nothing but equal to do square phi by do x do z plus do square phi by do x do z. Again, that is equal to zero. So psi of x comma z will also uh, satisfy the Laplace equation as shown in the above. So we are assuming there is a function of psi in x and z direction which will vary from uh, psi one, psi two, and psi three. So we get a family of the curves in this considered x y plane. So this is the equation: do psi is equal to do psi by do x into d x plus do psi by d z uh, do z into d z. So this is a curve where we are considering psi is a constant. Also, if you differentiate, so if you differentiate constant, it is equal to zero. So this equation becomes dz by dx in psi terms is equal to 
डो साई बाई डो एक्स प्लस डो साई बाई डो एक्स बाई डो साई बाई डो जेड वॉट वी नो डो साई बाई डो एक्स इज गिवन एज वी एक्स वी हैव टेकन इन दर्लियर सी दिस इज अ वन सिमिलरली डो साई बाई डो माइनस वी सो दीज आर द स्लोप नोट द स्लोप dz by dx is nothing but is in the same direction as a resultant velocity hence the curve psi is equal to psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 are the flow lines these are known as flow lines so from the equation 9 and 16 what we can write we can see that there is a point x comma z the equipotential line and the flow line are orthogonal to each other that is 90 degrees to each other so the function phi xz and psi xz are called as potential functions and the stream functions respectively thank you